Hey guys, I just arrived in New York. I am staying at my friend's place. I have filmed here before, um, and you've actually met this friend of mine, Matthew. We did a live stream, was it last summer? Yeah, it was last summer. Um, we were at his lake house. This is Ozzy. This is Matthew's pup. Hey. Hey, Ozzy. So, oh my God, I got up at three o'clock this morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my flight was at 6 a.m. so boarding started at 5:20, and I had to park my car and do all that and I actually had to check a bag in so thus the really early morning and then I got here to New York and I had a little bit of motion sickness I was gonna try and vlog kind of like all the travels and stuff and as you guys just saw I did a little bit from my lift from the airport over here but I couldn't do any more because I was just like my head was like starting to spin, so I was like, you know what, let me just get to the apartment, settle down, relax a little bit, and then I'll just start vlogging. So here we are. I feel like I've been dragged backwards through a bush, uh, so pardon my appearance. And yeah, look at what he's doing. What, what are you doing? What's up, baby? <laughs> it, it is Fat Tuesday. Hi, it is Fat Tuesday today, and even though I am not religious at all. I love Fat Tuesday <laughs> for what it is. And I'm actually gonna be meeting some friends at Bubby's because I was telling these two friends of mine, Melissa and Allison, um, I was telling them that I was like bummed that I was gonna be traveling on Fat Tuesday because I usually take myself out for a big stack of pancakes <laughs> on Fat Tuesday and I wouldn't be able to do that this morning. So my friend Melissa, she's the one that I went to Japan with um, last September. She was like, I'm on it. And I was like, on what? And so she was like, we're going to Bubby's. They serve a flight of pancakes all day. So we're gonna have a flight of pancakes for dinner tonight. <laughs> so I'm meeting them there for dinner. And yeah, I should probably freshen up. I was gonna say freshen up a little. I should probably freshen up a lot. So sweet. Hi, I can't take you to Bubby's though. I wish I could. Flight has arrived. Okay, we have, banana, I don't even know, banana, banana walnut. walnut. What is that? Mixed berry. <laughs> Mixed berries. And that might be blueberry. And then blueberry. Okay, that's just cream. Wait, there's two that I couldn't have though, right? One of them is one I can't have because I'm allergic to nuts. Right. One of them is Nutella. It is Ash Wednesday, and I only know that because I celebrated Fat Tuesday yesterday. <laughs> Those pancakes were so good. They were as good as they looked, and I'm still full. I woke up full this morning. So today is gonna be a fun day. I'm getting my hair cut soon. I think I've been talking about this stupid hair. Hi, Ozzy. Do you wanna say hi? I've been talking about this stupid haircut for like months now. I made this appointment so long ago. Um, as soon as I realized I was coming to New York, I made this appointment. So I have a haircut soon. And then I'm meeting a friend for lunch and um, my friend just emerged. Um, meeting a friend for lunch and then we're going to walk around. We're going to go to Soho basically and um, do a little bit of shopping. It's another really gray day out. I don't think it's raining. I think it's probably just misting. That sort of spitting on you <laughs> precipitation so that's what we're dealing with today and i think it's a little bit cooler than it was yesterday so What do you guys think so far? I got about five, six inches taken off. I think it looks good.
It is, I'm definitely losing track of time. Okay, it is Thursday. <laughs> I had such a fun day yesterday, as you guys saw. I got my hair cut. Um, hi, uh, Ozzy wants to say hi again. So today, I'm going to meet a friend of mine. We're gonna go to Saks. Uh, we're gonna have lunch there and do a little bit of shopping. So I've gotta get ready for that. I am loving my haircut. My um, hairstylist, Joey, who you guys saw, um, he was like, you know, he's like, oh, we'll do like, you know, two or three inches. I was like, just take more off. He was like, four? You know, he kept like raising up four. I was like, do five or six. So we ended up doing, I think like closer to six inches off. And I just, I just feel so much better. I thought, you know, with the spring, summer coming, that's what we needed to do. He put like a lot of stuff in my hair and it just looked so great yesterday. And I feel like it actually looks okay today, but it was kind of misting all day yesterday. And it just feels a little, feels a little gross. So I'm going to wash my hair today and yeah, go about my day. I don't actually have that many hair products with me. Do I have any hair products with me? I actually don't have any hair products with me. I'm just going to blow dry and we'll just see what happens. So uh, that is it. That's it. So I'm going to get ready and then I'm going to take you guys along to Saks with me. Hey guys, I'm in my lift on the way to Saks. Uh, first of all, I had to take advantage of this beautiful red interior <laughs> of this car. I love it. Um, but I wanted to show you because I just like blue blow dried my hair and no product whatsoever. Shampoo, conditioner, freshly cut hair. And I don't know about you guys. Sorry. This, the roads in New York are really bumpy. Oh, we're at a stop sign. Okay. So whenever I get my hair cut, freshly cut, it is usually like not cute. It usually is like, it looks like it's just been like shorn <laughs> and chopped. And I feel like my hair looks pretty good. No product, no nothing in there. Not bad. Not bad. shopping with my friend Julie and my other friend Max who actually is a personal shopper. What's your title here at Saks, Max? Uh, yeah. Wardrobe consultant at the Fifth Avenue Club. If you ever need uh, wardrobe consulting at Saks Fifth Avenue here in New York, definitely check out Max Canty. He's actually an old, old, dear, dear friend of mine. I've known him for, feels like a thousand years. <laughs> thousand years we actually used to be roommates anyway um and i've known julie forever now too and we're checking out is this Julie's? Julie's van noten yes oh my gosh julie is so great she looks good in everything
<laughs> I am so glad I got that on I video. I can't believe you were video. <laughs> dinner before we go see The Inheritance. It is a really long play, as I understand it, really three and a half hours long. Yeah. And two parts. We're only seeing part one. I'm not going to be around to see part two. So we're only seeing part one tonight, but we're here at the terrace. We're going to have a little din-dins before the play, and I'll see you guys after. It is Friday morning. It is such a beautiful day. I think the last time I showed you the skyline here, it was a great day. So, a great day? A gray day. So let me turn you guys around. Isn't it just beautiful out? Look at the skyline. So there's the Empire State Building. There's the Zeckendorf. There's Jefferson Market. So today is the reason why I came to New York. Tonight is the Celine Dion concert. You know, I don't even know that many Celine Dion songs, but I'm just so fascinated with the person. <laughs> she is just, just such an entertainer and uh, like the amount of energy she has. And I just find her fascinating. So I just want to see her actually perform. Uh, and a friend of mine got tickets and ironically, we wanted to go see her while she was in Vegas. And of course, now that I'm living there, it just made sense. And I just missed her. I just completely missed her and she isn't performing in Vegas anymore. So anyway, my friend was like, let's just see her while she's in New York. So she is performing. I think she's here for like a week or so or something. Anyway, we have tickets for tonight, um, but I'm going to meet my friend Melissa for lunch. Uh, soon and then um, I'm gonna go downtown meet my friend Jen um, uh, for dinner and then we're gonna go over into Brooklyn uh, to see Celine she is performing at the Barclays Center so that is what I am doing today so we are at Nami Nori on Carmine Street down in the village I just met up with Melissa she actually just went to the ladies room but we just ordered I'm so excited I can't wait to show you when these little delicious delicacies come out. They look amazing. Hello. How are you? Thank you so much. So we ordered the fur cocky fries with the tomato. Yeah, it was fast. Look at these. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Yeah. Say hi, Melissa. <laughs> We're like kind of reliving our know, Japan, Japan trip. We really miss it. We totally miss it. But this restaurant is so beautiful. Like the aesthetic of it is like very Japan. 
I hope you can hear me. It's really loud and echoey, but I am downtown, all the way downtown at Brookfield Place, which used to be the World Financial Center. Oh my God, I feel like my face is numb. It's so windy outside because this is along the Hudson, uh, but I'm gonna turn you around so that you can see uh, this Brookfield Place because it had to be basically rebuilt after 9-11. But they still refer to this as the Winter Garden because it's all encased in glass. And they've built it out with stores. So I'm eating dinner at Italy now. We're at La Pizza and La Pasta. There's actually a really beautiful view here, which I'll turn you around now so you can see. It's pretty incredible. Isn't that amazing? So I don't know what the buildings are, but these are all the different like World Trade Center buildings. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday. It's a leap day. <laughs> I kind of forgot it was a leap year, um, but I just woke up to 100,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. And uh, I'm going to be live streaming with Kate the Great and Better Off Red later. And Celine Dion last night was amazing. It's just been so, I mean, just out of this world, unbelievably just so like unreal <laughs> just being here in new york hanging out with my my peoples hanging out with my dearest and oldest friends and people who've seen me through like so like so much like ev absolutely everything and um and to tell them that you know i've hit this big milestone they're just like wow i mean it's just it's it's been so great all right i'm gonna get ready i'm going to my favorite bakery now to grab some goodies for kate and sarah She brought champagne over 
I brought champagne over and we're gonna do a little champagne toast because Michelle hit 100,000 on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> it's very exciting. Yes. Yes. Sarah is here as well. Hi. Oh my God, this is very meta because she's like poloing with her. <laughs> <laughs> this is meta. Meta. It's very meta. It's very yes. meta. It's like, oh my gosh, we're going to be like on 10,000 different screens all at once. Yeah. We're like. Ah, so. so oh, there it is. Ching. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Good morning. It is Sunday. It is the 1st of March. I'm here with Better Off Red. Hi. Yay. <laughs> So we are um, heading out today. Yes. We're meeting up with some other YouTubers, which you'll see in a bit. I'll leave it as a little bit of a surprise, but we're gonna go um, up to Midtown East. We're gonna go hit Wolenski's Grill mm. for a delicious meaty. I'm starving. <laughs> yeah, meaty lunch. We're both starving. We kind of like didn't have any breakfast. Oh, yeah. Saving room for, for lunch, but it is a gorgeous day. Mm -hmm. We're just over here. We're just over here soaking in this beautiful light. Look at this. Yes. We look like angels. Angel. <laughs> so that's it. We're gonna head out. Um, there's a Starbucks reserve, mm. like just a block away here. So yeah. I think I want to hit that before we head uptown, um, because I've heard really good things Let's about that coffee. So I think we'll do that, and and then we're gonna hit Walensky's Grill. Take you guys along with us. <laughs> Look at us, YouTubers. Sacks with Teresa, Alex, and Emily. Teresa 
Lisa is slowly coming over to the dark side. Here we are at Chanel. Yeah, I got so confused. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> We're getting a blush, getting a couple blush. of glosses. Yeah. Yes. This lovely gentleman has helped us. <laughs> we love him. Great recommendation. Yes. Yes. Yay. Just a blush and two lip glosses. That's it. Yeah, no, no. That's it. Totally That's fine. it. The little vanity trying on table here. <laughs> Gucci inside sacks. Oh, oh, I love this. Yeah, I give that. What finish is that? Emily, what finish? It's the sand set. Oh, finish. what color? Do we know? Blaze of noon. Thank you. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I love it. All right, we're going to get this one. Perfection. Yeah. It looks really good. Sold. <laughs> love it. It's gorgeous. Good evening, everyone. It's my first time, um, as you guys know, hanging out with Emily and Teresa and Alex. And it was just, it was so nice getting to know them. And then Sarah had to get home to DC and uh, Kate had to get back home. But I had such a great time. Um, I came home and I just passed out. I had to take a little bit of a nap. I think that jet lag is really kind of catching up, uh, catching up to me. It's only a three hour difference, but I'm such a wuss. I'm really such a wuss. When I'm in Vegas, I have such a like schedule. Anyway, I'm up now. And surprisingly, because I had such a gigantic lunch, surprisingly, I woke up starving. So I just got a spicy miso ramen and some scallion pancakes. I don't know. I don't know what possessed me. I was still really sleepy when I ordered it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to stay in. I have another busy day tomorrow. And then I'm off to go back home on Tuesday. I cannot wait to see my husband and uh, Miss Fuzzy Butters again. I miss them so much. And that's it. But yeah, I'm down for the count for the evening. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. I'm actually out grabbing some coffee and pastries with a friend. I am at my favorite bakery again, of course, Mazadar. This is the one I talked about in the live stream I did with Kate and Sarah, Kate the Great Beauty and Better Off Red. Uh, but I'm here with my friend Melissa. Yay! Yay! So we're just enjoying some goodies. We've like demolished. Oh yeah, I'm an animal. <laughs> Don't even look at this. What was <laughs> it? Like, bah, 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 bah. This was like the vegetable focaccia. Yeah, it was like broccoli so and mascarpone yeah. and cheddar. So that's what I'm doing this morning. We're just sitting here, actually in in the uh, in the bakery. We're waiting for Alicia of Kinky Sweat. So exciting. <laughs> Who has just arrived? Walk to me. Walk to me. <laughs> Girl, yeah. Look at who's doing this spot. Hi, Ozzy. It is my last day here in, in. Where am I? It's my last day here in New York City. I am packing up getting ready to go home. So I just wanted to close out this very long vlog. I'm starting to edit it and I'm like, I did a lot of stuff. I was gonna, like I have some time before my flight this morning and I was like, oh, maybe I'll go down and meet my friend for lunch and maybe I'll do a little shopping. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill out here, take my time to like pack up my bag, spend a little time with Ozzy here. Uh, yeah, and just kind of like, get ready for my flight home. So that's it, that is it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in New York City. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know I've been vlogging a lot. I uh, probably won't be vlogging much once I get home because boring, super boring. Uh, I'll be getting back to my regular content. Yeah, so I will see you guys back in Vegas.